In this video, I'm going to show you how to find unsaturated niches using the free version of E-Rank. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bridget. I'm an Etsy print on demand seller on a mission to help other Etsy sellers start and scale their business in a stupid, easy way. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe, like, hit the bell so you can be notified of the next time I release a new video. So let's get right into E-Rank. Okay, so to find niches that are not saturated, you're going to go to erank.com. If you do not have an account, you will just walk through the process of creating one. And then you'll go um, to the top bar where it says tool. You'll click on keyword tools. And then here you're just typing a keyword. If you're not sure or where to start, you don't know where you even want to think you should be designing or what you should be creating. I always like to start with like woman, woman shirt, woman sweatshirts, woman mugs, anything like that. And then E-Rank will let you know um, here at the bottom is where you'll find all the golden nuggets because here you can just, if you hit this and search it by competition, it will start offering you all these other ideas. And these are all things that you could possibly be designing for. Obviously, just know that some things might be trademark or copyright, so stay away from those. But these are all ideas you can start with. So let's say like, for example, like paralegal shirt. Well, that could be an idea now because the competition is like, you know, you're looking for like this super dark green. That means the competition is low. So you could design for paralegals. And then you just keep growing. And let's say I wouldn't do anything like delayed, I mean, related to like football or Disney characters, but you just keep going. Thailand. I mean, that's like, you know, a place. You can do stuff like that and you just keep going and going. Obviously, there's a lot of things that are trademark strawberry. So like, you know, a strawberry shirt, like so people are like fruits that could be something. And that's kind of how you would do that. And then if you're not sure what that means, like, for example, um, the paralegal shirt that we saw, if you just go on Etsy and you just search paralegal shirt, it was just tell you what's out there, what people are buying, what's in demand. And that's how you will go about then figuring out what you should be designing. But you will just start with earring to help you come up with ideas. If you're just stuck with like, well, I don't even know what niche to design in. This is how you can do that. Or let's say you're thinking about the dog, like, you know, just like the dog mom, but you don't even know where to start with that because dog mom is so big. Just type in dog mom, right? And then you just go all the way here to the bottom and you'll search it by the competition. So now we're looking at what things are out there that um, could also be applicable to the dog mom niche. And you just go here on the left side and that's what you're looking at. So dog paw, um, dog mom, let's say dog mom coffee. So you can combine, you know, Rescue dog, mom, dog mom matching set, a dog mom mug, um, a foster dog mom. So see, so these are all ideas of like where you could be designing and these are all low competition niches. Uh, a stay at home dog mom, a foster dog mom. We saw that one already. So again, these are always, and then you can just literally go on Etsy. So like foster dog mom, and you can kind of see what was out there or what people are designing for in this niche. And that's kind of how you do it. But you would just start with something here at the top, whatever it is you're thinking about, or maybe like cities, you know, or birthdays or start with, you know, a word and then just or phrase and then you just go down here. And you hit this and it will serve you by a competition. And then you can start looking at, you know, what type of other like sub niches you could be designing for that are like less saturated than let's say if you were to just design for a dog mom. Now maybe you can go more specific and find, for example, we find the stay at home, stay at home dog mom or the foster dog mom. I wouldn't have even think about that if I wouldn't have came up here and just searched dog mom. So that's how I use the free version of E-Rank to help me come up with niches that are low competition, but people will still buy. 
in those niches. And it will help you stand out even more so because you're speaking directly to that person. Like let's say a foster mom is more likely to buy a sweatshirt or a shirt that says foster mom than just says dog mom. So you made it to the end of this video and if you're still struggling with the research process and how to get better at giving customers more of what they want, then I'm going to be linking this video next because in that video I show you my whole research process and how I prime my brain to design for what customers are looking for. See you in the next one.